Dave Marsh, Shy Golf TV, back once again. As you know by now, we're running through seasons one and two, and I'm talking about some of my favorite drills. So continuing the theme on the short game. If you miss a green, and you've got the confidence to get the ball up and down, it's gonna really take the pressure off your iron play. So let's talk about some of the simple choices that you can make around the green. It's so important to get that right decision made. So watch these videos, and then we'll review them. Once again, you can see my feet here, if we turn side on, are only about six to eight inches away from the ball. So we're really covering the ball there. We're right over the top and it's just basically the toe of the club that's aligned to the ball. And then from there, we just rock our shoulders back. It picks the ball up off the ground really simply and gets it running up to the hole. I've got a seven iron here, but I'm not afraid to try shots with a five iron, six iron, seven iron, eight iron. I basically want to get the ball on the ground as quickly as possible. Simple seven iron. Look how my feet are close together because I only want a soft shot. Literally just going to let those arms and shoulders rock together. Such an easy way for you to keep playing and getting the ball close to the hole. Simple works. If I hit my mark, I know it's going to go close. Straight, just short of my mark, actually hit my mark. But you can see it rolls down there into my circle. Break your chips up into two parts. Get really focused on hitting your landing area and you'll hit a lot of really good chips. There's more than one way to get the ball close. Let me show you how. This first head cover that's right in front of me, I'm going to send my chip shot over that and get the ball inside my three foot circle. This is the more direct approach to the flag. Up over the top, just release it down to the hole. Quite an easy way for me to play the shot, but there is another way that in fact gives me some real good options and a bit of fun. Because the green slopes heavily from right to left, I can pump the ball out to the right and just use the half pipe slope to carry the ball into the hole. See head cover number two? I'm gonna start this ball over that. Four paces right of where I originally started that last one. Now watch the ball just cruise in off the right hand side there. Now that's a really good way for me to play a couple of different shots. Now that's imagination and it's also quite good fun to play it that way. So go out there, don't always take the direct route, look for different slopes so you can work the ball in. Have some fun when you play, but more importantly, get it up and down. Now let's recap on those four videos. The first video we looked at was simple chipping. This is a technique if you're slightly struggling with your confidence by getting in close to the ball, getting the, the heel off the ground and just getting almost contact with the toe of the club, it's really gonna get some consistent chipping in there for you. The next thing we looked at is making a simple, correct decision. Most players, especially handicapped players that I play with, they often make the wrong choice of club around the green and often they try and fly the ball too far. Get the ball on the ground and that's what we talked about in video number two. Don't be afraid to select a five, six or seven iron. Get the ball running like a putt as, as often as possible. The next thing we looked at was selecting a target of where to land the ball. Often the target is not where the flag is, the target is where you want the ball to land and then release out to the hole. So that's a really nice tip for you to think about. And finally, one of my favorite videos, imagination and visualization. There's so many ways to get the ball close to the hole using the slopes of the green. Depending on how quick the putting green is, you can definitely use some different slopes to work the ball into the hole. You've got to be trying to make the right decision on the short game shots. And remember, as I keep stressing to you, the more confidence you can have in getting the ball up and down, the easier golf's gonna be and the lower your scores are gonna be. So make sure you keep going to the chipping green and keep working on that solid action and great attitude.